Okay, we're doing Aries. I think we're going to switch it up from the Celtic Cross. I just want to see in general what's coming up. Feel free to like, share, follow, comment, subscribe, reach out for more and more. Reading Mary Christmas, we win $2 a minute. And or if you'd like to learn Greek tarot professionally, please reach out. I have several courses available. I hope you guys are doing well. The Ace of Sword in Reverse. This is an internalized energy. This has been coming out a lot. This is an internalized victory and or personal accountability with your mood, your state, your manifestation. Guys, do follow me on TikTok as well. I'm going to get to 1K, so I'll live stream for you guys. Um, if you're not in Aries, you can take this for your first house in astrology. You can look that up. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Feeling as if something is not moving forward in the 3d but not to worry because again we're always manifesting in every moment we're always pulling from the 5d ideally self-regulating from the lowest common denominator feelings or thoughts that the matrix gives us to the highest common denominator sometimes you have a feeling or a sensation that you don't even have words to um, articulate that might come later but sometimes it's best to just feel better um, as opposed to to uh, as a personal sovereign choice as opposed to um how muji says doing battle with your thoughts uh getting involved in a street fight with your thoughts or your thinking the wheel of fortune in the reverse again more of a stuck stagnated energy i kind of surmise if that's in reference to the 3d with the holiday season the holiday the holiday lull um And yet I still feel as though that you are making spiritual advancements in the 5D. That's how it's coming across. Opening up that heart space. Remembering to put your attention on your heart space as well. To create that positive feedback loop. Remember where you put your attention grows. So if you're putting your attention on your heart space, on your heart, you're going to grow that. You're going to learn to turn that on more like a salt lamp. Like one of the most Himalayan. Salt and then you're going to learn to open up your aura. Right, but it's all contingent on the vehicle, right? The energy. Um, you know, it could be that sometimes we're in a mode of output, or other times we're in a mode of receiving. So you have to be mindful through which filter you're receiving. Are you receiving through the ego, or are you receiving through the heart space? Which is why um, sometimes it's good to put your attention on your heart space. <clears throat> as you are in an environment that might be pouring into you so that it filters through a higher energy center in your mind so to speak Four of Cups in the upright, this could be protecting of yourself, defensive, at a distance, with the Six of Sword in the upright, and or moving to calmer waters, and or just saying no to something as well. You could personally be saying no to an offer and moving on. Six of Cup in the reverse, Scorpio energy, nostalgia energy. It's almost as if you're moving away from family and friends at this time or not being open to them. Chariot in the upright is not that progress. It's very interesting. It's almost as if you are making progress. Not to say that you're going to sh shut certain doors to the past off forever, but it's almost as if like when you're going to do it, you're going to do it full blown. You don't want some sort of half-hearted effort. Yeah, you see the Empress giving birth to work here, doing your spiritual soul work. Could also be, you know, working on the holidays, but this could also be kind of in common with spirit. Pulling in a twin flame, too, possibly, with the Knight of Swords in the upright. 
It's almost as if that, that may be your work um, in this moment, which is what's pulling you away from the past. Um, or you know, past family and friends and all that stuff. If you are in separation from the holiday, it is. Anything else here uh, in general for Aries, general messages that can be used or taken? Yeah, that lover's card in the reverse keeps on coming out. It's specifically in reference for those that are, you could be in relationship or not in relationship. But the catch is you don't feel in the 5D that you're in union or on the same page with the twin flame. And I just got to chime. So to me, that makes me think as though um, one second. Um, so that could be kind of pulling them in in the 5D, uh, as it were. Um, and again, it's interesting because you could be out of relation or in relation um, and still be pulling closer in the 5D, right? Because ultimately it kind of has to do with your own spiritual connection with self, all right? Whether you're single or in relationship. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Let's move on to source. Awesome.